Freedom Daily New. Lib actress Susan Sarandon protests for Kaepernick over racism dash makes huge mistake at NFL's HQ. In case you hadn't already heard enough about our body Colin Kaepernick, we're now getting to hear about him in conjunction with our other favorite group of people, entitled Hollywood elites. There's little that would qualify an actor or actress to sway the future of the country more so than an everyday citizen, but when they show up at protests and events, it seems to be taken very seriously. It just seems to be too much for fans to resist to not get on board with whatever cause their favorite elite supports. In this case, actress Susan Sarandon found something to support that was both high-profile and anti-Trump, which is a very happy two birds one stone situation for any liberal. In this case, Sarandon got out on the street and walked in an NFL protest to support Kaepernick who hasn't been employed in quite some time. Apparently, the average patriot doesn't take too fondly to an obviously very fortunate professional athlete thumbing his nose at the symbol of what gave him all the fortune he has today. NWCP leaders and left-wing activist Linda Sarsour headlined the rally, which was meant to show support for the former San Francisco 49ers star who is yet to land a roster spot on an NFL team after causing controversy last season by kneeling for the national anthem during pre-game ceremonies. The out-of-work quarterback turned social justice warrior has been a lightning rod for controversy. Amid his national anthem protests, Kaepernick was photographed wearing a Fidel Castro t-shirt and pig cop socks at official 49ers events. Some signs from Wednesday's rally included messages that said Black Lives Matter scoreboard. Kaepernick equals hero. NFL equals zero and, he took a knee for me. I'll take a stand for him. Sarandon who supported Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders' White House bid and eventually endorsed Green Party presidential candidate Jill Stein, was also spotted walking through the rally. It seems that Sarandon is a flavor of the weak kind of political supporter. Obviously she wants to be involved in something, it just doesn't seem clear what she's supporting. Is she supporting Kaepernick? Football? Protesting the anthem? Shouldn't someone who supports the Green Party have a problem with all the waste at a football game? We're confused. What's even more confusing is that one of Sarandon's great friends isn't a fan of football at all. Meryl Streep made a point to put football in the doghouse at one of her most recent Golden Globe acceptance lecture. I mean speech. This could get Sarandon in some big bad trouble with the matron of Hollywood liberals. Meryl Streep got a laugh as she described her own basket of deplorables Sunday night as she accepted the Cecil B. The Mill Lifetime Achievement Award at the Golden Globes. All of us in this room, really, belong to the most vilified segments in American society right now, she said. Think about it, Hollywood, foreigners and the press. Then Streep got real, talking about her own beginnings in New Jersey and name-checking the likes of Ruth Knapp. Natalie Portman, Del Potel, Ryan Gosling and more as Hollywood types who'd come from other places. Hollywood is crawling with outsiders and foreigners, and if we kick them all out, you'll have nothing to watch but football and mixed martial arts, she said enthusiastically, which are not the arts. I'm not sure if liberals are allowed to think freely, but even if they are, disagreeing with the liberal platform as laid out by Madame Streep is probably always a bad idea. As a patron of anything that's anti-Trump, if you're going to go out and be seen on the street, you might want to make sure that you're not ticking off Streep. It's unclear why anyone in Hollywood would be anti-America, considering that they wouldn't get away with a lot of the shenanigans they pull in countries with harsher governments, but obviously, that's not a concern at the moment. Hopefully if American has learned anything from Colin Kaepernick, it's that just because you're free to say something, it doesn't mean that you should say it. Kaepernick and Streep and Sarandon all have the right to say anything they please, but their fan bases obviously easily lead astray and these thoughtless celebs might look back in distress that they accelerated the destruction of the very freedoms that they so callously abused.